Hi, my name is Seb, and this video is all about Jupiter, which is on Solana. Jupiter aims to be the best swap aggregator on Solana. It is built for smart traders that like money. This is a brief resource for newbies, half newbies, and experienced fees. What I'm going to cover in this overview is what is Jupiter, what is a swap aggregator, why should I use it, understanding deposits, fees, and quirks. Do a quick tutorial and then a quick summary. What is Jupiter? Jupiter is a dApp on Solana that is made by the Mercurial Finance team to give you the best price swaps on Solana. The team is well known and has already created one of the top projects on Solana, which is Mercurial Finance. The dApp gets the best prices for Solana tokens and has them in one place at www.jupe.ag. What is a swap aggregator? A swap aggregator is an app which scans all of the DEXs and AMMs in order to find the best price for your token trade. You can then choose which source to buy from without ever touching another website, saving you time, effort, and money. The integrated dApps at the moment are Orca, Serum, Radium, and Mercurial Finance. The Jupiter Swap Aggregator. In this example swap, we can buy some Star Atlas token with the USDC. We can choose to use one, Orca, and save $25, or two, Serum, and pay more. This is the best two prices. Jupiter scans more sources than this, but this just shows the two best. This is Orca's price, and this is Serum's price. Why should I use Jupe.ag? Well, Jupiter saves you money, saves you time, checks multiple sources, and it routes for you. Routing means it can go through other tokens to get to your destination. As an example, this is USDT going into USDC to give you some sweet, sweet grip. Using Solana is fast and cheap, but you may as well be saving time and money with Jupiter. Understanding deposit. Deposit is a little payment to keep a token in your wallet. When you get a new token, e.g. Atlas or USDC, you pay 0.00203928 SOL for only a one-time payment. That's about 30 cents as of October 2021. Then a swap or transfer is less than one cent. That deposit can be claimed back, but that is covered in another video. It is not hard to do. All these accounts pay that deposit. It is how Solana works. As an example, these five tokens, they contain about a dollar and 50 cents worth of a deposit, 30 cents in each of them. Understanding open orders. A deposit for Serum and Radium order books is more SOL. Open orders are different to normal Radium pools and Orca pools. It is more like Binance or FTX.com. Open orders deposit is 0.0233576 SOL for each pair you buy or sell. That is about $4.30 in October 21. So as an example, SOL USDT would have that deposit charge and so would SOL USDC if you use them. All pairs do. Ray, ETH, etc. And you can claim it back, of course. And this is what an order book looks like if you're using Serum or Radium. Understanding fees. Fees are clearly shown at Jupiter, and they charge you nothing extra to use the DAP. Serum fees, 0.22%, so $2.20 out of $1,000. Orca fees, 0.3%, $3 out of $1,000. Mercurial fees, 0.04%, so only $0.40 cents out of $1,000. They are damn cheap. Fees are clearly made known, and you can check them before you swap. The fees go to who you use for the swap. Maybe that's Orca, Serum, Mercurial Finance, or Radium. As we can see in this bottom picture, a route may go across Serum and Orca, or Orca and Mercurial, which will mean you pay fees to both. This one goes to Serum and Mercurial. Understanding Serum's quirks. A quirk is a peculiar or strange thing, and Serum has some. If a swap fails with Serum, try again. Check your wallet first to ensure it failed. These fail as the order book may be too small. As an example, you are buying $150 of Sol, but at the lowest price, there is only $100 of Sol. Orca and other AMMs use a different system, and you may prefer them for small orders. Serum works when there is enough liquidity at the price you want in the order book. You do not lose any funds if it fails, it just does not go through. This is an example of an order book. This is the sell and this is the buy. You won't see any of that with Jupiter because it's all in the back end. Another quote, Serum needs to sell Sol in 0.1 increments. Why? Because the order book has a lot size of 0.1 which cannot be changed. So if you want a small amount or exact amount, Orca might be better. Keep that in mind. You cannot buy 1.13 Sol on Serum or Radium Dex. It is 1.1 or 1.2 Sol. So some swaps will take less and give less. Same rate, but less. This happens with some other tokens as well. Because of Serum's quirks, sometimes you might try to swap $25 as an example, and you notice only some is taken. That is Serum and their quirk. Here I want to swap $25 for Sol, and Serum will only take $20.40 and give me 0.1 Sol. Sometimes it might be best to use Orca, normally for smaller orders. So here you can see $25, Orca option 0.122, but if I take Serum, it gives me 0.1, and it only takes 
$20. Here's a quick tutorial. Connect our wallet and then in the middle we can change the top one to whatever we want to sell and in the bottom one whatever we want to buy. Put in the amount, Jupiter will scan the AMMs and the DEXs and then it will give us the option of which one we want to take. Swap and you can see it's taking the open orders deposit fee and approve. And that's all there is to it. Summary. Jupiter is awesome. It saves you money, effort and time. Serum has quirks and deposit but a little education is all we need. An open orders deposit closing tool is being worked on by Jupiter for the not too distant future release. The video in the end title shows how to close open orders deposit accounts and is simple to use. More features are being worked on so follow on Twitter and Discord. As you can see you can save a lot of money by using this. This example of a swap is saving $653. So make sure you bookmark jupe.ag. Thank you for watching and learning awesome things. Now go and tell your friends all about Solana and Jupiter.